So Dylan, the CEO of Figma, just woke up and decided to destroy the whole world of tech by launching four awesome products for their Figma lineup, which also includes one brand new auto layout feature. And we are breaking down everything. So let's get into it right now. So first up is Figma Grids. We have a playground file for this for you all to try it out. The link will be in the description for you to check out later. So you can obviously create, you know what grids are, right? Everyone has used them in Wix Studio, right? Uh, I was about to say Figma, but now it's so ironic that you can actually use them in Figma, which is so cool. This is going to be very, very impactful for layouting, obviously, because people, when they are trying to upload images, the all sufficient auto layout feature was somewhat incomplete and with the grids customization you can actually scale and rescale everything very very quickly as you can see it's very very snappy also you can take out any image and any text that you can place in inside i have made over thing over here also where they have added vertical horizontal and freeform and normal grid as well so normal grids is where you can create multiple grids in a matrix format and you can do calculations on however ratio you want uh, you can drag out uh, all the elements wherever you want and customize them wherever you want to place them. You should go out and try this uh, Try this specific grid feature right now. This is, was just an auto layout feature. Now we will be moving on to the next main app that they have made which is called Figma Draw. So the Figma Draw feature is obviously very very fun and very very cool to watch. This also has a playground fee file for you all to try it out. Again link is in the description. Now uh, over here uh, they have a whole new nav bar in the center which where you can actually see there's a brush just how there is in specific uh, fig jam files uh, but with much much more customizations as you, as you can see I can literally create a vector which is so random which you can customize and actually you know do everything you want and however you want to this just adds a whole new level of creations where you just don't have to be dependent on the community files or import files from different third party tools like Envato and stuff like that. You can just create everything right now, right here. And there are going to be so many people posting so many elements on the Figma community for free. I just hope that people actually do that. Not only uh, the brush part, you can also also add textures right over here if you can just create a shape or whatever image that you have you can just simply go to effects and they have a new specific panel which is called textures where you can if you click on this uh, you can see that there are multiple textures over here uh, you can add a texture you can add a noise you can add different other things inside the texture itself which is going to be very very cool for you all to try it out so go ahead and do all of this. There are multiple other things for you to discover to keep this to keep this video very small. We are covering everything very, very fast. And that's why I'm wrapping right Two other tools uh, that uh, Figma launched was obviously Figma sites and Figma make Figma sites is obviously where you can actually launch your Figma uh, sites that you actually created from Figma directly. Uh, what you have to do is simply go on and uh, import them in figma sites and simply publish them by connecting your personal domain or the domain that frame uh, figma is about to give you i I'm, i was about to say framer because it's in my muscle memory now but now that's about to change which is going to be very very cool you can try out multiple things by grids and your own creativity which is just going to be so cool they have added custom animations as well as they have added uh, a whole cms for you all to use right then we are jumping to Figma Make, which is the straight up rival to uh, Lovable and Replit and all these uh, vibe coding tools where you can just write a prompt and they will create a web app for you, which is just going to be insane. But Figma went one mile extra with their edit feature where you can literally by one click change the all change all the fonts, all the font sizes, all the colors, texture, everything with one click over here with the panel. Side by side, you have overridden codes where you can specifically this uh, uh, specific element can be overridden by a code with your own custom animations, custom interactions. You can do maths, you can do so many things and it's just going to be so, so helpful for all the creators out there. So this was all the new features that Figma launched. I'm so, so happy that Figma have taken this huge, humongous step towards actually uh, creating a brand which is just gonna be remembered by so so many people they have not only targeted Adobe they have targeted Canva 
they have targeted lovable they have targeted just so many tools that we can just imagine and just guess what when these features actually drop in people are gonna go mad and imagine in figma config 2026 i am predicting right now let's see how this goes i think there's gonna be a ai boom in year 2026 for figma and they might also implement video editing features in figma because with the direction where dylan is headed with figma i think he's about to go on a full-on rampage to take over every single tool that exists and make everyone a part of the figma community this is a very bold statement from dylan to the whole world that this is how you build a company do consider subscribing because we have covered this very very quickly we are about to do many other videos for you all so that the community keeps on learning so do share this video with every other designer that you know so that we get a little help out of this and yeah thank you so much for watching